didn't have a tooth. <laughs> this was to prevent Friedman from fighting us, actually. <laughs> More on him in a minute. Um, you have this in the locker room with Freed's. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, best game of the season may have been the season opener in Tampa, then you come back here and another great performance. Was this as complete a game as you played on Wednesday? I think so. I, that's what I said to the guys after the game. For me, it was uh, it was one of our more complete efforts all year long. I thought throughout our lineup, we had contributions uh, from everybody on both sides of the puck. And for me, what was probably the most encouraging part was our third period. I thought we continued to play the game on our toes. Uh, we created a lot of offense through our defense. I thought we defended our net front as hard as uh, as hard as we've defended it all year long. Uh, you know, not just with our defensemen, but just with our numbers. Uh, coming back and collapsing and stopping and uh, just just real good habits throughout our lineup and when we do that I think we're hard to play against I thought uh, you know we were we were stingy defensively I thought we created a lot of offense off our defense uh, but I loved our puck pursuit game up the ice tonight things got pretty chippy at times just what do you think it says about this team that you know they didn't get knocked off their game when, when things started happening like that well, I, you know, our, our, when our, you look at the core guys that we have here and our leadership, uh, these guys have been through that a lot. That's not anything that they're not accustomed to. And when you play a team like, like Tampa, that's one of the top teams in the league. Uh, you know, everybody's invested. It's one of those games that's fun to play in. It's fun to be a part of. There was a lot of emotion on both sides. Uh, it was a competitive game out there. And I think that was just an indication of it. It's not often you hear Gino, Gino chants on the road, uh, but they came out tonight because of his performance. What did you think about the way he played and then also the impact he had on his line mates? I thought that was Gino's best game um, of the year to this point. I, I felt like with each game, it's getting better and better. Uh, tonight, I thought he was just in beast mode, the way, you know, the way he commanded the puck. And it just followed him around tonight. And that, that's when you know when he's at his best. Obviously, Mark Friedman likes to agitate a little bit with one that. But did he pick his spots well tonight? And is that important for him when he's in the lineup? It's real important for him. You know, we, we want him to play his game. We want him to be who he is, but, but he's got to make sure he stays on the right side of the line. You know, the type of team that we have here, the type of game that we're trying to play, uh, it requires discipline in, in a lot of forms. And so, you know, we, we don't want to be a team that beats ourselves, and, and we want to be a team that plays to our strengths. And so uh, that's an important aspect of it. And I, I thought Freed's was, uh, you know, he kept his discipline all night. This looked like one of the better games Kapanen's had as of late. Just what do you make of his night? I thought Cappy's game was good. I, I thought Gino's line was really good. I thought, I thought all three of them were, were good. And uh, Gino obviously is uh, is a generational talent. And when he's playing the game the way he was tonight, you know he just commands so much of the of the puck. And uh, but I thought Cappy was playing on his toes. His his speed was evident. Um, you know I thought he was he was pressuring pucks. He was involved. He was engaged, and 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 that's what we're asking of him. And if he plays the game like that, he's he's going to help us win a lot of games. Well, so pleased for you to see a start like that kind of manifest after talking about it. You know, some of you have kind of come into this game and the guys coming up with it. And well, it's it's rewarding when you you know when you're standing behind the bench and you're watching your guys play that play the game a certain way and play as hard as they did. I thought our players were invested all night long and. And I, I also think it's uh, it, it's a great blueprint for us moving forward. And, and, and just when we play the game a certain way, I think tonight is a night where there's a lot of evidence to suggest when we when we play the game, you know, collectively as a group, and we have discipline with the puck and without the puck, and we pay attention to details, and you know, all the things that we work on on a daily basis. When when everybody buys in, and we, you know, I, I think that's the. That's the type of, uh, of game we're capable of. And so against a really good team, you know, one of the best teams in the league. So, uh, you know, that, that's, I, I think that's a, a standard that, that we're, we're going to have to live up to now game in and game out. Mike, uh, I know you don't want to see Chris Latine dropping the gloves very often, but he's an emotional guy. Is that something you're okay with? That happens every once in a while or yeah I'm, I'm okay with it you know he's, he's an emotional guy he's in, he's as invested as, as we you know as anybody out there and he wants to win and you know obviously we don't want Chris you know fighting every night or, or any of that sort he's way more important to us on the ice uh, but when he plays the game as hard as he does and you know he's emotionally invested the way he is um, you know sometimes that stuff happens thanks, thanks